Today we'll discuss vitamin K2. Let's see why is it one of the most powerful vitamins and still one of the most underrated one. Vitamin K2 reduces the risk of dying from heart disease up to 57%. Not only that, it can reduce bone fracture up to 60 to 80% in postmenopausal women. It is also very important for brain health, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis and even migraine. But why is it underrated? possibly because it is rarely present in industrial diet and processed foods and didn't receive much mainstream attention now let's see how it actually works it reduces the narrowing of blood vessels by reducing the unnecessary calcium build up in the artery it basically regulates the calcium deposition in our body it promotes the calcification of bones and prevents the calcification of blood vessels and kidneys We all know that calcium build up in the arteries around our heart is a huge risk for heart disease. So here vitamin K2 reduces the calcium build up and prevents heart disease. In one study spanning 7 to 10 years, people with the highest intake of vitamin K2 were 52% less likely to develop artery calcification and had 57% lower risk of dying from heart disease. Another study in 16000 women found that participants with the highest intake of vitamin K2 had much lower risk of heart disease. For every 10 microgram of K2 they consume per day led to reduce risk of heart disease by 9%. However, keep in mind that these were observational studies which cannot prove cause and effect. Still there is highly believable biological mechanism for its effectiveness and strong positive correlation with heart health in observational studies. As mentioned above, vitamin K2 plays a central role in the metabolism of calcium. It is a main mineral found in your bones and teeth. Vitamin K2 activates the calcium binding actions of two proteins, matrix GLA protein and osteocalcin, which helps to build and maintain bone. That's why it significantly reduces the risk of osteoporosis, especially in older women. A 3 year study in 244 postmenopausal women found that those taking vitamin K2 supplements had much lower decrease in age related bone mineral density. Few Japanese studies have also found that it significantly reduces the risk of bone fracture after menopause. In line with this findings, vitamin K supplements are officially recommended for preventing and treating osteoporosis in Japan. Vitamin K2 is also believed to be an essential nutrient for dental health. Several studies have been done on vitamin K2 and certain types of cancer. Two clinical studies suggest that vitamin K2 reduces the recurrence of liver cancer and increases the survival times. Now another interesting benefit of vitamin K2 is it increases insulin sensitivity by osteocalcin metabolism. That means it is beneficial for type 2 diabetes. Studies show that vitamin K2 intake reduces 7% of type 2 diabetes mellitus risk with each 10 microgram increment. It also had lipid lowering and anti-inflammatory property. Now let's see how to get the vitamin K2. We all need vitamin K2 for overall health improvement. However, some people need it more than others. People who are taking broad spectrum antibiotics for long time can have vitamin K2 deficiency. It is because gut bacteria in a large intestine produce vitamin K2. Long term use of antibiotics can wash out those good bacteria and eventually lead to vitamin K2 deficiency. People who are taking antacids for long time or those who are on statin medicine can also have K2 deficiency. Gastrointestinal problems like irritable bowel syndrome Crohn's disease ulcerative colitis are also responsible for vitamin K2 deficiency Some other conditions like menopause and pregnancy have increased demand of vitamin K2 Now also if you are taking vitamin D3 or calcium supplement then it's better to add vitamin K2 for proper distribution and to avoid arterial calcification and unnecessary heart complications We will make a detailed video on that topic as well Now let's talk about sources of vitamin K2. Vitamin K is a fat soluble, which means low fat and lean animal products don't contain much of it. There are many types of vitamin K2, but the most important types are MK4 and MK7. Foods high in MK4 type of vitamin K2 are fatty meat like pork and beef, animal fat like lard and tallow, 
organ meats like beef duck and chicken liver dairy products from grass fed cows poultry and egg yolk vitamin k2 mk7 is found most abundantly in fermented foods like japanese natto sauerkraut and other fermented legumes natto is a potent source of k2 mk7 it provides around 150 microgram per 1 tablespoon which is 200% of your recommended daily value Some scientists are convinced that people at risk of heart disease should regularly use vitamin K2 supplements while others point out that more studies are needed before any solid recommendations can be made However it's clear that vitamin K plays an essential role in body function To maintain good health make sure to get adequate amounts of vitamin K1 and K2 through your diet All right that's all for today hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you